5 seconds to go. Start. I am pleased to be here with you all today on this momentous occasion to present the President's color to INS Valsura. I congratulate the Indian Navy and in particular the officers and sailors of INS Valsura for achieving this remarkable feat. I also congratulate you for an excellent parade, immaculate turnout and high standard of drill and discipline. The beautiful city of Jamnagar is an important center for industry and economy. The fact that Jamnagar has a station of all three arms of the armed forces, army, navy and the air force underlines its strategic importance. I visited Visakhapatnam last month for the presidential fleet review 2022. It was my honor reviewing the entire fleet of the Indian naval ships, submarines, aircrafts lined up in precise symmetry and maneuvering across the Bay of Bengal. The fleet review showcased India's maritime power and reinforces our faith in the capability of Indian Navy to ensure maritime security in the region. As Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, it was a moment of immense satisfaction and pride for me. INS Valsura has rich history of professional excellence and it has discharged its responsibilities with distinction. The unit was commissioned on 15 December 1942 as a torpedo training school during World War II to enhance capability of the Royal Indian Navy. Over the last 79 years, INS Valsura has transformed into a premier technical training institution. It is entrusted with the vital role of skilling the sea warriors to maintain complex weaponry and electrical equipment on board ships and submarines. The Indian Navy is safeguarding our national interests in the maritime domain. The Navy over the years has emerged as a combat ready, credible and cohesive force and is the preferred security partner in the Indian Ocean region. It is a matter of great pride that the Indian Navy has consistently evolved to safeguard our extensive maritime interests with resolve and tenacity. The Indian Navy is continuously enhancing its strength, keeping in mind the long-term perspective plans and towards meeting the expanding range of missions. The naval ships and submarines are equipped with state-of-the-art and sophisticated electronics, weapons and sensors which are key enablers and integral to its combat worthiness and other operations. I am confident that INS Valsura will continue to equip the officers and sailors with the requisite skill set to ensure combat worthiness of complex weaponry, electronics and IT equipment fitted on board ships and submarines. I am told that INS Valsura has been designated as the Indian Navy's pivotal node for training on new emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and big data analytics. INS Valsura has also emerged as the preferred training destination for our friendly navies. I am told that 1,800 trainees from 15 friendly foreign countries have been trained till date from this premier institution. This has also strengthened our bilateral toys with the countries from the Indian Ocean region, distinguished officers, ladies and gentlemen, we owe a debt to our society and our nation. It is our sacred duty to repay this debt 
by helping the society in whatever way we can. I am happy to note that INS Valsura has initiated a number of social outreach programs and welfare measures in the Saurashtra region. The rebuilding of Navi Moda village post the devastating earthquake of 2001 was a commendable effort of community service. Last year in September, during the heavy rain in Jamnagar, over 400 citizens including the elderly, a pregnant lady and children were secured by the teams of INS Valsura. I compliment the efforts of INS Valsura and all those involved in the rescue mission. On this special occasion, I also pay homage to all those from INS Valsura who have laid down their lives in the service of the nation. We will always remain indebted to them and their families. Let us also remember all the veterans who toiled tirelessly over the decades to build this premier institution. It is a matter of great pride to bestow the President's color to INS Valsura in recognition of its exceptional service rendered to the nation in peace and during war. The honor bestowed upon your establishment today comes with added responsibilities and has enhanced the expectations from all of you. I am confident that you will continue to strive for excellence and serve the nation with professionalism and dedication and I, I am sure that you will continue to live up to your motto which means the light that emanates from here illuminates all. I once again congratulate the Indian Navy and INS Valsura on this proud occasion and urge all the men and women to continue their service to the nation. I wish you and your families a bright future. Thank you. Jai Hind. Stop.